In the side lying position, it allows the mother to lay down and nurse the baby from beside of them on the bed. This allows you to get way more sleep and it is by far my favorite nursing position. The cradle hold position is probably the position that you'll use the most while your baby's awake and during the daytime. It is basically where you're cradling your baby in your lap, supporting them with the arm from the same side as you are nursing them from. So if you're nursing them on your left breast, you're gonna be supporting them with your left arm. The football hold position is basically where your breast is going to be on top of the baby. Your baby is going to be underneath and you're going to be supporting them with your arm, um, but their legs are going to be going to the back of you. I never really used it, but um, this is where basically reaching the opposite hand over in a cross cradle hold basically instead of supporting them with the arm that's on the same side as the breast that you're breastfeeding with you're basically going to reach across with the opposite arm to support their head with your hand and use your arm to hold the rest of their body up against you it's particularly helpful with a newborn or a small baby when you're trying to establish a good latch. Um, it gives you more of a better angle and a better view to establish a good latch. I never used a cross cradle much, hence me using a 12 month old to demonstrate, but And she doesn't like the cross cradle. <laughs> she says, yeah, you're not going to hold me with the opposite arm. The reclined position is basically where you put your baby belly to belly and you recline back to feed them. This is for a newborn that can't handle a uh, fast or overactive letdown and it will help to slow the flow of the milk to where they can handle it but you can use this position for any age. Tandem positioning can be any variation of the positions covered. I hope this helped someone to get some ideas on positioning for breastfeeding. Thank you for watching.